Hey guys, Stealth here. Today I'm doing a game on this very large map, which I keep forgetting the name of, shame on me. Um, I'm operating with a USSR armor deck, so you can see that I'm opening with a T-72, two ADU-BVs, a couple of reconnaissance units in the form of PT-85s, a uh, couple of T-55s, Tungushkas and Shilkas, and one T-062 Napalm tank. We also got a UAZ back here. Because we are playing Conquest and I want to capture this zone, or at least Cheriton, quickly. I might be able to bring in a CV here later. I'm operating with Maxo, Kayer and Blue Reset. Um, I'm not on TeamSpeak with these guys, so it's just going to be me commenting on this game. And Kayer is also going to help me capture Fedor. And he's going to help uh, Blue Reset here on the left capture this town. If you can hold these zones, you pretty much have most of the area under your control. So, let's see. First get all of these to fast move. Now I did indeed fast move them uh, to the middle of the sector just to get them to uh, move there as fast as possible. Once they're on the move I can always sort them out later. So that's what I'm going to do next. Let's see, T-55 reconnaissance tank. Operate on that flank. Weapon off. Um, let's see where my other tanks. T-80s, this is a T-55, if it let me select it. Here it is, come on, this one. Also in the middle. Weapons off. T-80 BVs, to be positioned there, so I can use that forest as cover slash offensive. Weapons off on a Tungushka. And I don't have a lot of supporting fire. I, the main fire is going to come from my BVs and my 72 BU. And the rest of the tanks I can bring in now. So it's time to start filling this up with a couple of cheaper T-72s. And I want to save it for another reconnaissance unit, because recon in the middle is going to get very, very important. So right now Blue 4 is leading. That's because we haven't parked our CV here yet. Okay, they have also captured this area. This is Kayer. Let's see, what do we have? I've got eyes on what was moving out there for a while. My infantry is mostly brought in in uh, BMP-3s. Now, I really like these transports, but I don't really need them yet. Maybe some infantry in this forest later on, but for now I just want to get some fast vehicles which can provide a lot of fire onto this target, onto this area. Now, uh, Shilka to move that way. We have a lot of targets up. I think that a Nona might be better. Things are all engaging. Why the hell would you park infantry out here? That's just weird. So, let's get this guy to start moving. Ooh, Huda Rens. That was a bit too aggressive by me. Problem is, Huda Rens have more range than my napalm tank, so I've got to be a bit careful here. Let's bring in... Um, BMPT. And we have now captured the region, so we're leading by a plus two. That's good. Oh, shoot. Nicely killed off there. Moderna's taking quite a bit of fire. You can see we're all getting spotted by something. As soon as these Huda Rens are dead, I want to start pushing up. A couple of cheaper support tanks. I know the Hudas aren't dead yet. I'm going to try and spot those guys again. Transport down. Now we're not being spotted anymore, it seems. Yeah, Mistral. Although those don't exactly have good optics. And that is something else. That's a couple of K1s. We need those dead. Yesterday. Good shot on the side. That might have killed it, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's turn weapons on on these tanks. And, whoops. For now, these Huda Rens have missed, but I doubt that they're going to keep doing that. Not too aggressive yet, buddy. There's still a lot of stuff in there. KF-16. Okay. And an F-1. What are they trying to kill? They didn't even try to go for the BU. I'm going to start preparing some infantry here. Not too much. Damn, Huda Rens. Get out of here. 
Oh, there's something more here. More Huda's. And I'm taking fire from these K1s. I'm gonna get those out of the way as well. I need eyes on them first. Yep, that's what's spotting my units. And there's the K1s. Tinkushka's using his missile launcher. Excellent. That's the end of those guys. Let's get in a tour for some medium range AA. That almost got me. Nice job. Okay, so now we've pushed up far enough here. Got a BMPT to clear out that forest for me. Maybe we can push into Dimitri as well. That would be great. Jesus, this thing has fired so many rounds it's almost out of ammo. So, we need to set up one of those huge mobile supply bases. Now, I have tried using these decks, these armored decks in Conquest games, um, and I feel that in Conquest versus Destruction, they definitely work best in Conquest games. Because you have the income that you need. In other games, Destruction-like, um, you might not always have the income that's required to field all of these important units. Nice kill on that command tank, by the way. Probably a missile from the BV. There's a short arrow. Let's see, my Nonas have arrived. Let's get those close. Not sure what that is. Need to get some more reconnaissance in here. A couple of Bratleys are pushing up. That's definitely easy targets for the ADBV, so long as these things don't start using those tow missiles. But so long as I'm not spotting my forces, I should be okay. And then they can offload their infantry, which can get picked off by my grenade launcher. Namenlos has surrendered. That's one down. All of these. Whoops, there is a helicopter. I need that thing out of the way. Hold. We're not going to push up if there's a helicopter right there with tow missiles. BMP-3 has arrived. This one can also use some repairs. There's the Tor. This is a decent target for my artillery. It's not great. I mean, it's only a short arrow, but it's 65 points, and you don't get that many of those in a deck anyway. Unfortunately, this thing is skirting just outside my range. Get some more BMPs in here. I'm gonna try and make it to that town, see if I can find their <coughs> command units. BU is getting rearmed and repaired. Same for this one. Ooh, Abrams. Abrams, 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 run away. ATGMs are firing. Come on. That was an. Ooh, that was expensive. That was a Tungushka. I don't like that. That's another Abrams down. Look at that. These things are also running out of ammo. Can relocate that position. Need more units for town. Which one? Uh, town on the left or on the right? Oh, shit. Seed. And here come the Peace Pheasants. The ATGM version, it seems. Yeah, killed off. Only one T72, so I'm not that hard. Not that badly hit here. Yeah, there's definitely some infantry in there. And something managed to pick off my infantry out here. Might have been those Abrams. Problem is, I need AA here in the middle, and I don't have it. So, let's do the <laughs> age-old trick of shooting down a helicopter using a mortar. Because we can do that. Dern is taking some fire. Be careful with that. Okay. 
Come on, stun that helo. I think that thing's getting out of here. Yeah, he is stunned. These things only fire a couple of rounds. At least he's not coming at me again anymore. Let's bring in a couple of 64s. That one's empty. Fill it back up. And come back. Advance. Put on my lands there. Come on, T-80s. Now we're not going to fire Cobras at that. That's a bit expensive. Damn it. Lucky on that age when I just got a side shot onto my T-72BU. I thought the front arm would stop it. Or I was hoping so anyway. Let's get another MI-6 here. Ooh. They're not going to kill that. Mortar 2s are heavily armored units. Come on, priority targets before they kill off the Specialnies. Or rather, before the Specialnies kill off the Martyrs. Enough. Now my BMPs to push up. Oh crap, Kiyo Maroshiki. Just outside the range of that sphere. Get these to back up. Our T-80BVs are almost running out of ammo. Shilkas, move up. Nonas. There's a Crotal sitting out in the open. Target of opportunity. What are we firing at? Reservists. Yeah. They can still be quite annoying though. Bring in two napalm tanks to clear out that town if we haven't already by the time that they arrive. Because these special Nijinotkis are not going to do that on their own, nor are my Modus 90. Let's bring in a AA, not an AA helo, a Rickon helo. Cassiopeys are coming in. Perfect timing. Finally, these things have arrived. More Kiyomarashikis. That must be the Japanese armored deck that I'm facing. This is the French deck. Definitely. Ooh, Legionnaires. Attack move. And guess what they're gonna fire at. Shit. That was a Cassiope down. We got three Q Maroshikis coming in. Um, yeah. Good for me that those things run out of fuel very soon. But I am going to have to do a lot of damage to them before they go down. Let's pull back for now. I'm thinking of saving up for an SU-25. Because that's going to put a fast, fast stop to those Qus. But I'm not sure about the AA here. Hmm. These BMs got 16 frontal armor versus 22 armor penetration on the main gun. That is never going to stand up. Okay, let's hope these RPGs can do some damage. That is, if these motorstrokies can aim. Which does not seem to be something that they're very good at. Back up, back up. First we're going to do an ASF run. Ah, look. Kayer's already on it. With, unfortunately... Yep, he got one. That's good. That's very nice. Now, let's do a one on one with a Kiyu. Um, set these BVs across as well. Another missile run. Yeah, he left him on one HP. Should be enough for me to kill it. That's one. Oh, hang on. That, yeah, well, that will hit him, but it might not kill him. And then this one. Out of range, but they're going to have to get into range. Okay, unfortunately I don't have any Spatsnaz in this deck. You don't get those in an armored specialization. But my Napalm tanks are here. 
And I will need some more long range AA. Damn it, here come the aircraft again. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Hold. Something's being spotted. There you go, now they're okay. Not ideal, but okay. That's another Cassiope down. Is that a Kiyu? Yeah. <coughs> okay. So let's start panicking that Kiyu first. And the MI6 is out. Now we're being spotted. Brilliant. I'm a bit worried that those Legionnaires are still here. Yep, there you go. Actually, that was not Legionnaires, and if it was, it was not Legion 90. Who doubt ends? That's something else. And there's a Leclerc out there. That is not what I was hoping for. Hmm. Come on. Fire. There you go, forcing these guys to move away. But there's two of them. And that was not a Huda Ren. That was what I was worried about. That's the Legionnaires. A5 and Elena. What do you mean? What's an A5? Oh, two A5, of course. Stupid question. Here's a Logi. Guess what that thing's refueling. Now, how about my Taurus? Yeah, there they are. There's the 2A5. 7 issue 25 ready. Send it out to the front line. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark on that Chinook. There you go. And here is our opponent, Kiyomarushiki. We just need eyes on that thing. That's all. There it is. Come on, spot it! I'm gonna fly my plane over their A-lines. A Ooh, that was long range. Yeah, Pip Hawks or Patriots, that was I was expecting. Yep, there you go. So how do you dislodge a bunch of <laughs> legionnaires? Not with cluster bombs anyway. Legionnaires have the Eryx, which has a range of a thousand meters. So anything beyond a thousand should be good. So what I just need to do is bring in a couple of cheap tanks, bring in some infantry, and start pounding onto that town with a lot of vehicles. And possibly the Shilkas, which ah, I have a bit of a short range for that. Other vehicles I can use? Mm, Norovs, cheap fire supports. What's that? Yep, more aircraft incoming. Unfortunately, my one, my one is just... Yeah, it's out of fuel. Low martyrs. But these guys are the real prize. I'll let them know I'm firing at this position. So that those T-72s don't accidentally get in the way. A lot of tanks being brought in now. This is going to be a slugfest. Good thing for me is that um, most, if not all, of the Japanese tanks have a lot less frontal armor than my tanks do. I think the Kiyomaru Shiki G, or sorry, the Nanayon Shiki G only has 
I don't know. Six, seven frontal armor, that's about it, I think. Now we're slug enough with these things as well. I need that recon helo. I need to see what I'm shooting at. Come on. Kill that. Oh, whoa, it's two of them. These things have health for days. Yeah, that's one of them down. Now oh, these nanayons are pushing up. Get this thing away. What the hell was that? Fighters. Time to start creating a smoke screen. Damn it. This bomber's got my tank. Let's see if this BMP 685 is fast enough to kill that. I don't think so. And something also cleared out my units that I had out there. Damn. Grenade launcher versus helicopter. My money's not on the helicopter. And I just lost my aircraft. They got a lot of cheap tanks coming in. Thing that these things have just started to show up. 80% of points. Nonas are about to go empty. Norovs. Good timing. Could use a couple. That might be another tank down. I don't think so, we just lost eyes on it. And here's more air. Unfortunately, my missiles are probably... Yep, they got it. Nice one. Not sure what they hit, though. I'm gonna try and get across here quickly, offload my infantry, and get rid of those rangers in there. Get the BMPT involved. Another aircraft. Yep, got it shot down. And that killed off my AA. Oh well, mission completed. Look at that, they only scored two points. And they have definitely not been pushing up as much as they would have liked in the middle. Come on, a couple of nanny on cheeky G's here. Hit. These things are never going to penetrate, or lo live long enough to kill off those tanks. 685s aren't worried yet. There you go. The amount of shiki G's over here is getting a bit worrying. A little bit. Right, other BU has arrived. Known as a bit closer. Completely forgot about Marie Contank. Oh, there you go. So, let's see. 26, sorry, 2500 points in kills, 1800 points lost. Um, I think I was a bit too aggressive in this game. I could have held back a little bit more because really I only, um, considering we had a plus two, I really only needed to hold the line, not push out too far. Still, um, good game. I'm happy with the result. I got a lot more kills than losses, so that was a good game. Conquest points, decent, 154. Contributed two CVs to the team. Um, but considering that the forest that my CV was in is a pretty predictable position, it is not very um, safe. And by that, I mean it could have been easily artied or bombed. If they'd had, for example, an F111, um, either a, an E, a C, or an F, so a cluster, um, 227 kilogram bombs or 1,000 kilogram bombs, they could have just leveled that place and my CV with it. 
So anyway, um, with that, it's a bit of armor. Uh, I've been doing a lot of air lately, just um, limiting down on the amount of decks that I'm playing to make sure that I don't um, spread myself too thin, because that's what I do a lot. Mostly because I do deck reviews and then try to do a game with it. So not as many deck reviews. Um, I will be doing those again, but I will probably not be playing with the decks as much, because I felt that um, it doesn't really work that well for me. I mean, I can handle most decks, but I'm not going to perform optimally. So, with that, I hope you liked watching this video. If you did, please hit like. If you have a deck that you'd like me to have a look at, the link to sending it in is in the description down below. I will be doing a deck review on it, but probably not a deck gameplay. So for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.